In this House of Logic video, we're going to set up Docker um, on LXC within Proxmox. Now, to do this, first of all, you're going to want to make sure that you've got a, um, a container image downloaded. So to do this, you want to go to your local storage, and then within the storage, select CT templates, and you can then use the temp uh, templates button within here to actually download um, any particular uh, container image that you want. So we've gone with the Ubuntu um, image for this one, which is this one here. So now that we've got that downloaded, we're not going to uh, demonstrate that bit. Um, we will go over to the main data center um, uh, node area and we're going to go and create the container. Um, so we're going to call this one um, Docker host Ubuntu, if I could spell it correctly. Um, we're going to give it a root password like so. Um, you can of course choose to use the SSH keys if you want to um, and then you're going to go and select the template so we're going to choose the Ubuntu uh, 2204 and then we can move on to uh, yeah we'll go with a normal uh, directory storage and we're going to give it a bit more disk space so we'll go with 64 gig uh, plenty of disk space for any um, any docker images that we download uh, we'll give it some memory cores so we'll give it a couple of cores and I think we'll go with um, let's go actually let's go with uh, yeah let's go with a gig of uh, RAM and at this point now we need to set the networking up so if you've got any VLANs in use this is where you want to set these and if you've got anything um, that you want to specifically do with IP addresses we're fine with DHCP so we're going to let that to, uh, set that to DHCP for it to be automatic and the DNS we're just going to use the host settings so now all that set we can hit finish And while that's running, um, the important thing to uh, consider as well as part of this is the reason we're using LXC is because um, Proxmox doesn't or certainly doesn't support or certainly wouldn't recommend um, installing Docker natively. So by using a container, effectively, you create um, what you could consider an air gap um, between the um, uh, the actual um, operating system or a containerized gap between the two, allowing you to uh, to run it. Um, so while that's starting up, let's go and fire up the console and make sure that we can log in. Okay, that's already launched. So we can now log in as root. Okay, we're in. So we can now do apt get update to make sure that all the repositories are up to date. Okay, and now we're going to um, install Docker. So apt get install docker.io for the community version hit yes and that will now go and install okay that's finished um, if we now do because we're already logged in as root we don't need to do a, a sudo command um, so we can see that we've got no docker um, uh, containers running at the moment if we do IP address we just get the IP of the host which is listed here 192.168.5.121 <coughs> excuse me so what we want to do now is we want to go and set up a container um, we are going to use um, a docker container I should say we're going to use some um, uh, use Grafana for this I think because it's nice and quick and easy um, so we will do well, certainly at least doesn't require any additional major config so we're going to give it a, a volume so that's already uh, created there and now we can do um, the same here with Grafana actual container and uh, yep that'll do okay so that's pulling down the Grafana image as you can see Okay, and that's finished. And if we go and do our docker ps command again, we should see that running, which we do. So that's running on port 3000 on um, our host here. Now, what we can do with this, of course, is we can go to https colon slash slash 192.168.5.121 and colon 3000. 
Uh, no, maybe I probably because I put an I put an HTTPS on there. Let's try that with HTTP. There we go. Slight protocol mistake, um, but we have been able to connect. And I believe it's admin admin. It is, and then we can chuck in a new password. And we're in. So that is running um, on a, a container, a Docker container within an LXC container within Proxmox. So there you have it. That's how to quickly get yourself set up with Docker, and in this case, Grafana as an example application, um, within Proxmox using LXC. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been useful. Um, and uh, please like and subscribe um, if you want to see more of this sort of video. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thanks very much. Bye now.